first episode, I'm going to give you a, just a short tutorial on how to play the game, and then I'll get onto the game later in the episode. Very simple, very easy Imperial campaign. We're going to go straight for the classical House of Julii. No advice, campaign, battle, medium. Let's put these here. No, uh, yep. Round initial settlements, follow the way our characters. No, that's what I wanted. Short campaign. Nope. Yep. I've never taken the whole world, and of course, once you actually destroy a nation, you get to keep it. Like, I've gotten the Greeks, I've gotten the Gauls, I've got the Car Carthaginians. And of course, you start with these three, which are all Rome, and eventually you want to take over these all three. Of course, I've taken Rome before, but then I can not. Skip this, I'm really sure about that. Take a sip. Right. Mission assigned to Jester, which is a scripted event, you will always get this one here. Such an easy village, you don't even need to show off the gameplay. Right, do not it's not WSD, it's because the game is 2005, but it's still one of my favourite games. Right, we're obviously going to be attacking. To Zion, press spacebar to speed up the on map game movement. I'm gonna get who is his name? Vibius Julius to take Rebel Village, and we're just gonna we're just gonna automatically win. And I'm gonna occupy it because you can exterminate, you can enslave, sort of levels of how much money you get. So. I did not mean to click that. <laughs> How many times? Whoops! That was an accident. Oopsie daisy. Let's put put it low. You get a higher population growth, but of course lower income. That was really dumb. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Right, I just want to get as many people as possible. Of course, you're in the negative, so I'm going to give you a high tax rate. <sighs> Pardon me. Um, what can we get? Population growth. Of course, this is the, this is the construction menu. You get used to it very quickly. And you've got the recruitment menu. And the good thing about this game, in comparison to all the later titles, I found that you actually get to build every building in any city. Unlike, I've been playing a lot of Napoleon, and I think conquered the whole of Europe and you could only pick from one of three buildings unless you're in a certain size city but of course you didn't build you didn't build anything like the walls or that we you built this fortress but you didn't build, build any specific walls any communal farming like in the city you had to do it outside the small tiny provinces and you didn't and you also had to pick between buildings also spies are recruited in a different way like at the cities and not with a, just a random chance like and the ports are different here, so you don't have to pick either between a trading port or a uh, defensive port, if you want to call it that, where you build all your ironclads and stuff. But this is why I like this game, because it's more hand to hand combat rather than just guns, which is a lot of the later titles. I haven't played Rome Total 2 yet. I just hope it's a good game. Trader, right back to this game. Trader and port is a good one to start with for some towns, considering you want to get trade going to get money. Money's very important in this. If you screw yourself over with no money, Oh, you're not gonna have fun. I want to take Patavidium. I'm gonna be told to do it soon anyway, so if you tell me to get out your land, I don't care. Should stop making a volume on my headset. Not too loud. <coughs> right, where are we? Um, that's it. I'm done. Trade rights, yes going down anyway. Yeah, you want to actually get trade rights with as many people as possible. Yeah, let's see, where is it? Navarro Martyrs. Oh, for God. Look how far away that is. It's all the way over here. And I've got two two factions right here. Idiots. Just Sometimes this game is a little dumb. Right, we're going to get this boat. They're going to make them drive right. Try. Sail. Right. What we get we're rewarded. Games. Mm, I'd rather have Terraria. Construction, governor's house, diplomatic information. Right, so that rebels. Ah, rebels will just appear randomly here, there, and everywhere just to cause you a bit of havoc. Now these should just stay still and not bother with anything. Uh, how many turns? 
one okay now this is interesting I'm gonna do this right the green line you saw is the one he can move the red line is the where he'll be able to move next turn the blue line is the one he'll be able to move the turn after that and the yellow one is the one after that and purple is the one after that and cyan etc and I don't know if there's any other colors let's find out let's make him go over here no he didn't make him go a certain distance but cyan there you go that's what that means he keeps shouting at me. Ah. Just turn game volume up. Alright, oh, not too loud, always remember to hear me. Um Right, that's currently got one more turn to build after that, I think. I think I think. Yeah, see I'm looking at this bit up here. It provides rather than the description, that's just a bit of game background. Public order due to happiness that increases your public order here, so it's a great way to keep it up. L if your public order gets too low, you'll have a revolt against you and they become heavily armoured. I don't know how, but they just do. That one's a good one. That makes them happy and it just gives the same thing, but that makes them more like tolerant of the law. Not tolerant. Obeying. But I kind of want that one because that makes them breed. Technically, yeah, breed. Uh, okay, it's one turn anyway, might as well. Plus, they actually get better. Better each turn. Right, this turn, this needs a wall instantly. Then that, then that, then that. Yeah. Oh, see, that's how you play the game. Right, so trader, make money. Paths, basically, paths are brilliant because they get more trade coming in, but they also allow your armies to move further. See, like here, he can only move from there to there. When I get, like, the most elite paths, I'll be able to move from here to, like, down here, provided they have the ones as well. Or say I have m most of these towns because I know where the towns are. There's one up here. There's one here. Actually, there's not one here. There's one there. There's one there. Pretty sure there's. I don't think Barcelona exists. There's one there. Nope. There's one there. That's it. But this one, this map's actually bigger. I mean, in Napoleon, you go as far as Greece. I believe. Yeah, you do. You don't get any of. Don't get any of Egypt. God, Egypt have elephants. God, those things are painful. Elephants, so cool. Carthage give you elephants, and you can get mercenaries as well, elephants, but you can't build them yourself. We're cruising. Cruising. Right, okay. Nothing um, around. Um, right, diplomat, that's what I need. Do I have trade routes with these? Let's find out. I shall speak with them. My turret is true, right? Uh, I need to show you something. <laughs> right, I'm not going to bother with this at the moment. I'm going to go to... Who do I know where they are? Let's go to... Uh, Brittany. Brittany, obviously, in Britain. Big surprise there. Uh, right. Show the diplomat map in a minute. Uh... Yes, I'd like some Hastai. Hastai are good units, they're basically the standard bog infantry. They can throw a spear. They've got about three spears to throw, I believe, before they run out of ammo. Um, pretty crap. Can charge. Yeah, see, missile weapon before charging. Yeah, but Town Watch are literally just like the one above peasants. But you can get so many units in this game. It's astounding. Um, this town's not going to um, just make it probably bigger by connecting. So you literally, what I did there was I held down left control and I clicked over. So like, yeah, left control to highlight multiple units. Also, you can do control A to highlight the whole army. For example, like say, but say if you just wanted like the mode here, then you can just get rid of two. Oh, that's Terraria right there. And Roman Archers. Roman Archers are very good. But so are Terraria. They have spears. That's why they're good. That lets you disband the unit. <coughs> Wait, who we got here? We got Gallic, which is Gaul, and we got Roman Senate. Don't need any of them. Order. Right, enter. Oh, enter doesn't work. Oh, what do you want? Yes, master. Which one do you want? Ah, as you can see now. Ah, uh, oh yeah, oh, there was two spies here, weren't there? I'm rebel. 
I lost two grand that turn technically because I just spent a ton of money. Right, we've got two trailers, we've got a wooden what is it, paradise palisade. And the units got has to tie and it's just get a huge like description of what they do. And what and what they actually are. And just spear. Water bed, house of Brutii eye in the Greek Sea, so Brutii eye I believe is the blue. Nope, just skipping. Brutii eye is the a green and the Greek Sea is obviously uh, the uh, so they got Sparta, Athens, and the rest. Thermon. And of course you've got Macedonia up here. Ooh, we don't want to fight Macedonia. General. The spear is just absolutely giant. Sir. Prepare to ambush. Okay, Death I want the spy to find out how many people are on this town. Oh, I can tell there's three. Your honor. Okay. If you double click over a town, sometimes you can get people who have spotted stuff. But this is just a guess that people have made. You should still know, you still know. Right, so these two aren't a worry at the moment. I need to find oh for God's sake, go away. What do they have? They have Hasatai, three lights. Um, thank you. Hey, those are like cavalry and war dogs are war dogs. Those are the spear throwing guys. Get a big market. Get black. Ooh, I like that. Silvers is also good. A lot of good stuff to get really. Early on, we well got to be careful. Early on, you don't usually get attacked, but the Senate like to make ready. you do stuff. I'm gonna build my towns. Yeah, I've already got stuff backed up. Okay, um. Yeah, I just wanna get as many people as possible. Yeah, let's chuck that down a bit. I could increase it to very high, but then just people aren't gonna be too happy. <coughs> Noble master. Right. Go on with it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go to the old Britannia. I wonder if they're taking France. I want France. France is not very difficult to take. Ha ha ha. Take a drink. And if you look at the top there, you can see all the other factions. And of course, as you progress through the game, it becomes less and less and less. And less. Oh, for God's. Right, here we go. Let's go. Bottom right. Occasionally you can see. Uh, mercenaries, which is the mercenary panel that you get to pick. It's mercenaries, so I'm barbarian mercenaries. I get how many? 60. So it costs 200 to keep them going. So they're quite expensive, but they're good if you want. If you've got a lot of money and you can suddenly. Right. Always check this. 201. Built a shrine and I built more. Basic infantry. Ah, you're not building anything. You should be. Oh, anyway. Big army. Sewers, no. Bluxus, no. Market, no. Ah, yes. Temple of Crescent. Because in my temples, they got good benefits and they didn't take very long to. The awesome temple of whatever, in this case, only takes five turns. And later game, that's quite good because a lot of buildings take up to eight turns. And by then, you could lose so many cells. Paved roads, way. Quite tricky. If you right click on stuff, it gives you an, an information. So up top right, you got a number of turns, you got improved roads and trade, and of course the description, and top left, how much it costs. And of course, if you mouse over it normally, it just tells you the turn and the cost. Simples. Order. Fire. No, I can fight. Right, next turn I'll fight him and then just to show off the combat and then we'll get on, so get on, get on with the game at my pace. <laughs> Which isn't very quick. You always have the rebels going just before you. Ah, oh, Spain! Oh, I hate Spain! Ah, oh, right. Start to do that. Agent found Arcturian Ghoul. So we click there. Locate. So we now know there is an agent in here, but we can't do anything about it because we don't have assassins yet. You get assassins by upgrading your market, I believe, to a forum. Right, there you go, port trader. Perfect. Now, okay, he's still building. Okay, you're still building. What have you got? Okay, they build some walls. And you might as well fill out them. 
because this town takes forever. 80,000, then it, it time increases it by 3% each time. So that's what. That's a stupidly low number, it was like 9. Right, oh yes, hello. Map on. Hey, what have you got? Horses. I don't care about light. That's light. Those are basically what we've got. But crap up. Should I attack a neutral faction? Oh, you ran away or something away. Okay, ah, here we go. Siege details. Prepare right. Now, Barrio Martis, the town. <laughs> See here, you got the defenses. This is just a little image. This doesn't mean anything. This is what you can get. You can get organs and uh, ballistas. You can get repeated ballistas and heavy organs. Sorry, not for that. Wooden tower saved. Right. See here, of course. What of it? Very. They've got the utmost basic, so you can get rams. You can't get these at the moment because you don't need them. There's no point of having a fence for a thing that's literally probably about nine foot high. There's no point, and these things go up to what, 20, 30 feet. There's no point of having a uh, siege tower. Siege tower? I don't know what the right word is. That's not the same. And of course, this is to break walls like this one here, like giant walls like this. So yeah, these these would fit on that wall, and this would be going for this wall, which is what this is doing, trying to break down that. So we're just gonna wait this out. They're gonna get back up during that, unless they attack them, which would be very helpful. Too helpful. Uh, okay, you're gonna do that. We'll show you something else in a minute. So I am have a hello, cat. Um, I have not. I'm just gonna put you there for safety. Okay. See. Speedy map, speedy ones are there. Okay, I want, I want, I want everything. I also want this to be all done straight away. Uh, stables. Um, <coughs> enter. Right. Yeah, he moves at the end of the turn because if you don't move someone but give them orders, they will do it at the end of the turn, not during the turn. Didn't get to watch my diplomat move. It's it's not that important in that case. End of turn report. Yep, I spent three and something grand. I just noticed something out the corner of my eye that I need to show you. I didn't even look at that. Right, uh, let's find something. Okay, uh. Pick someone who can actually move. Right. Here is your movement points. Dark blue bar representing points remaining. The light blue section replacing effect on movement points after the current point. So basically, what that means is. The green of this means how far you can move this turn, and that is really, you don't need that. Oh, and this, you flip through everybody. Oh, this, oh, there's the, the faction summary, ah, oh, this is where all of it, all the, all the sexiness goes on, all of the little tingles and, yeah. If they're not like me, people don't. See, actually, what's nice about this, this changes. The small majority within the Senate recognise your greatness, but you f but most of the rest feel indifferent towards you. Fortunately, you now rarely provoke outright hostility from the Senate, which is good. So what we've got here, we've got lists. So, shows how many are in his army. Ah, here we go. Let me show you this. This, if you hover over this, the stars mean what, how very good, how good he is um, with Barney. And the four stars in this case, you can go up to about 10, I believe. 10 or 11. You get this man has a basic talent, and they change every time you just start. I love reading these. It's like the management, this is how good he has at getting taxes, um, build it, well, buildings not affected, but how well a building works. Like This man is limited discrimination, um, as I discriminate to talent producers, results that are adequate but must be inspired. And influence, that's when you're talking to someone. So if um, you try to negotiate. <laughs> Also it helps uh, beat the morale. Of course, this man here is better, so you get more often. But not this man solves him with drones, but not some of his crises leaving him floundering, which is different to John. Of course, he's terrible. <laughs> of course, this guy here, uh, influence. A stuffed olive has more influence than this man. It could choke someone important and change history. See? Ta da! What's this guy here? <laughs> they can have none, they can actually hover over him. It's really difficult to see them. Okay. I'm gonna shut up now and fight. Right, here we go. Right, okay. Attack. Assault, because I got two. So there you go. That's it. That's your strength ratio, which is basically your chance if you were to auto resolve. That's, what, that's how I see it as. I've had it where it's been down here, 
definitely right in my cube there. Uh, let's do this. Nice little zing. This is a fight. So they've been backed up by the dudes on the left. Oh, pardon me. <coughs> right. How am I going to do this? The gold they are coming in from oh, over right here. Right. They'll be coming in. Well, I'm. I was, I was attacking from bottom right to middle, and they were coming left. So, in theory, that would be direct straight. So, bang, bang. So, their reinforcement will be coming here. I, if I can get into town beforehand, because you can actually take the town before. Um, by taking that, by standing units in that settlement, this thing here, you get like a countdown over about three minutes. Of course, you can speed up the game here, and you've got the zoom in. But I never bothered with that. You can get zoom in quite nice, so you get like the flat, you get the lines and everything, but I never bother. Like over here, you've got your abilities that units can do. Over okay, here, we'll start with the, the siege equipment, so you've got the ability to drop the siege equipment. Oh, enable free fire, that's the battle of the unit. Uh, Hashtag hit Terraria, I even have the ability to Loose set a new simulation, which is what I don't. These guys do. So basically, that means. Um, they get hit less by arrows because not so tight. Because he's got fire at will because they've got the, the three um, spears. They've got the guard mode, which uh, basically means they stay in this area and guard the area. And the running. And that's click to locate your general. Your general is a bloody good unit. He's got heavy cavalry it's from the get go, of course, you can. Get these things called Praetorian Cavalry, and uh, yeah, you don't want to fight them. That's late game, okay? And of course, you've got the Roman archers here. You can have fire arrows, which is a great way to get rid of enemies as they do more damage and they spook horses a lot easier. Horses don't, don't ever run out of horse unless you're Traria and you've got your spears. Spears, guys, oh, don't run out of spear groups, you will not have your cavalry. Right. Of course, this is the deployment area, and in the deployment area, you can shove people around nice and quick. You can drag them out straight. You can plump them up tiny. Or you can make them massive. Um, do this. Attack the wall by literally left clicking on that, right click on that. Uh, he'll start automatically attacking. That's the ward, their leader. There's a warband light infantry here and warband light infantry here. I'm going to use my. Uh, mercenaries, because they're replaceable, literally. If I hit R, then we run. I'll use my Hestari. And, oh, there's a tower there. Did we get shot at? Okay, my Hestari, I'm going to run straight through the main gates. I know that much. You guys can go play. Yeah, I thought so. I'm just gonna speed up the game because we don't need to do anything else. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter our way through. There we are, straight in, straight down. into the wall. Right, 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 left, left, right. Um. So yeah, there you go. See them, the archers and the um, beta lights. What are they called? Getting their work done. You do. You know what? The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. The fire. Our troops should be ordered forward. Just hit fire, and the next shot will be from the fire. Unsurprisingly. They're more inaccurate though. Our soldiers but still have nice. captured the walls. They go like panic by fire attack. Time to press on and and capture this us. place. I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. Triarii. Triarii. Get my sandwich go. As well as. Shot by fire. 
That would be too happy if I ever shot my car. I'll be honest. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Showed up. So what I'm actually gonna do is change plan. Sticky there, sticky there. Where are you? I guess you have to see these guys are tired, so they can't run as well. They perform worse in combat. The best way to get your um, freshness, I'll call it that, and see that mine, my guys are warmed up, is literally just stand still. Very easy. Walking, I don't think helps. I don't remember it helping. See, they're charging right now. So they're going to get the damage bonus on the charge. But because they're tired and there's fewer of them, there's no way. I'm going to get the enforcement to attack my turn. I'll be running right now, but I don't want to tire on this. Probably should make these guys run out. Uh, pause. There we go. Now I can assess the situation. Okay, their warlord is heavy cavalry. I need you to come in. I need you to come over here. Okay, they've got like cavalry coming in. That's fine. There you go. Cavalry gets a huge um, charge bonus of course being cavalry. I really sometimes hate them using those spears, but they do it every time. Doesn't matter though. There you go, their general's dead. General is slain, and I'm now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Now these guys are these guys are splitting and running back to the centre here. And that gives them morale and they'll fight to the death in the middle. That was a good thing. So then yeah, these guys are charging. Like cavalry, though. And cavalry is still devastating. Stop using that. They're already playing. If I get them to charge, I'm not going to charge. They might charge if they're out of arrows. Nope. Arrows. Oh no, they're going to run away. Isn't that a shame? Right, see how that's going on. Oh, we're getting dumped the rear. Um, um, that was not intended. We're getting flanked. Sorry about that. Turn around. I said short tutorial. Yeah, I lied. Oh, they're still flaying. Yeah, devastated their cavalry, but also devastated my units. Well, as soon as I run back, I'm ready to fight. He's dead. He's just gone. He's out of it. I see how they go. That's really nice. This is the devastation of cavalry versus. Of, um, the yellow fish. They're just gone. Also, when someone's fleeing, it's 
very easy to kill them. You see the numbers just die down when someone's running away. What are you doing, Trario? Enemy army is in flight. Pursue them speed this up. and drive them from the battlefield. <laughs> I'll throw their spears one last time and then I'll get stuck in. And of course, kill the last man. We win. Of course, this menu shows you how many men you deployed, how many killed, and how many got remaining. Of course, they killed a few, and I killed many, and we have none remaining. Room total war. The desire for safety stands against every great noble and Pardon me. And that'll be it for today's Victory! tutorial. We got a game held because we won, and of course we got the Senate mission successful, and yeah, very happy with it. Not very happy with you guys. He's pissed. Check us out. I'm not. I give a shit. I'm just gonna fix this. Ah, okay, quickly. Retraining after a battle in town makes the units um, re replenish, or s provided there's a correct type of building. Also, um, that helps you uh, get your. Sorry. Um, <laughs> your <laughs> weapons and the shield. It looks like a shield with armor. And of course, mines. Ah, that's a good one. Money, money, money. Okay, I'm done. I'm out.